So it turns out there is a relatively new product called Easy EDA that can be used for schematic capture and simulation, and I think it's a good candidate for you to use in this course. So you go to easyeda.com, you can log in with your UND Google account, and just choose Easy A Designer, and it will pull up the standard edition. Now I'm going to create a new project, and we're going to call it RC Circuit <clears throat> Simulator. I can't type, evidently. Um, we'll save that guy. And I'll start with an empty schematic. Now what I want to do is come over here to the community library that has common parts. I'm going to grab a ground because we'll need a ground. Let's go ahead and zoom in a little bit. I can right click to drag. <clears throat> I need a resistor because I'm making an RC circuit, and I need a capacitor. And I'm going to hit the R key to rotate it so that it has a convenient orientation. Now, for a voltage source, if you were making a real PCB, you'd need to make a header that you could use to connect to a voltage source in the lab. What we want is a voltage source that we can use for simulation. So um, what I need to do is come over here to the library. I need to choose spice symbol which is a simulator i'll go to the system library and then i'll pull voltage source and we're going to choose a uh, pulse source so that's this guy here and we'll place it in our circuit we'll put it over here kind of out of the way <clears throat> and there you have it so those are the components i need for the circuit i'm going to hit the w key which is equivalent to clicking this uh, wire icon, and that will start wiring. So I'm going to wire the power supply, or the pulse generator to the resistor, and then the resistor to the capacitor, the capacitor back to the ground of the pulse generator, and then I'm going to connect the ground to this part of the circuit. So that's, that's my circuit. I'm going to save it, and that will move, that will get rid of the star there next to the uh, file name <clears throat> and we can go to simulate so what i want to do is go under tools here and choose simulation it's going to give me a warning that i'm going to close this file and reopen it and that's okay so there we have it we're now uh, in the simulator uh, now the defaults for these components are 1000 ohms and a tenth of a microfarad uh, if you think about it, that means we have a time constant of a tenth of a millisecond, um, which is pretty darn short. Let's uh, set the pulse generator up. Um, right now it has an initial voltage of zero, an on voltage of one volt, but it's got a delay of 10 milliseconds. Let's make that zero. And then let's make this one nanosecond, one nanosecond. So the rise and fall times are going to be very short. It's going to be on for 10 milliseconds and then have a period of 20 milliseconds. So <clears throat> that should give us a decent uh, simulation. Let me just make sure. It looks like that all stuck okay. Then I need a couple of voltage probes. So I'm going to put a voltage probe here on the capacitor and another voltage probe here on the output of the pulse um, generator. Then I want to set the simulation settings. The time step one microsecond, that's probably going to be a little short um, because we want to go for, with a 20 millisecond period, we want to go for at least two periods. So let's make that 40 milliseconds. And then let's make this uh, 10 microseconds. See if that works. There we go. And there you have it. So the voltage probe for the uh, pulse generator, it looks like, is this blue line, and then the capacitor is the voltage probe one. That's this curved line. We can zoom in here a little bit to see what that looks like. You can see it's a nice RC exponential uh, time constant kind of signal. Um, beautiful. But for the purposes of the experiment in the laboratory, we're going to be using an RC circuit like this in order to produce a steady voltage, and this voltage is not steady, so we need a much larger time constant. So let's uh, go in here to the capacitor, and let's change the value 
uh, what do we want? Let's say 100 microfarads. That'll be a tenth of a, um, a I'm sorry, 100 microfarads times 1,000 ohms. That's going to be 100 milliseconds. So that'll be much longer, or substantially longer than the period. Let's run that simulation and see what that looks like. And that's more like what we expect. Notice it starts at zero, and then it starts to climb up here. Um, what I want to do is change the, uh, let's see, here's the simulation setup. Uh, let's start the time at 1,000 milliseconds. <clears throat> oh, I see. And let's make this uh, 1,010 microseconds. Uh, no, nope, that's not what I want. 1,040 microseconds. So what that, what's that going to do? It's going to run the simulation for 1,000 milliseconds and then start recording the graph. That way we'll get over the initial transient that happens at the beginning. And there you go. Now you can see it's reached sort of a steady state. It's at about half the voltage, half of the one volt height of the pulse. So um, there's a fair amount of bumping up and down. If we really wanted this to be a steady voltage, we would make the time constant even larger larger, but you can do that in the lab and see how that works. So anyway, that's the idea. I hope that makes sense. Let me know if you have any questions.